So you have a new Fronius Gen 24 solar inverter and your electricity meter has been changed over and now you want to turn your solar system on and start producing some glorious free solar power. I'm Mark from MC Electrical in Brisbane. This is part of my Know Your Solar series, which we've made to help answer the most common questions for customers after their solar has been installed. Now, to start off with, if MC Electrical installed your Fronius inverter, we may have installed one of our custom-made inverter shields. So to open it up, just find this quick-release pin on one of the four corners of the shield. Push in that little silver button and pull the pin out. Once you've opened it out, you'll see the big rotary switch on the front of the Gen 24 inverter. Turn it clockwise for quarter of a turn so the switch is horizontal. Now this will connect your inverter to your solar panels. Next, we want to connect your inverter to your switchboard. So if your inverter is not so close to your switchboard, you may have an AC isolator mounted next to your inverter. Just make sure this is turned to the on position. Now go over to your switchboard, and if you have a couple of switchboards, it'll probably be the switchboard that is closest to your inverter. You'll find a switch called solar supply main switch, or it may be called main switch inverter supply. So turn that switch on, normally in the up position. Now go back to your inverter. It'll take two minutes for the inverter to perform all kinds of safety tests. You'll hear some clicking noises before the left light eventually changes to a solid green. If it is solid green, then congratulations, your inverter will be producing solar power. If your right hand light is solid blue, then the inverter will also be connected to your home Wi-Fi and you can check out your production on solar.web. If it is solid red, then you'll want to check out this video here and connect your inverter to your home Wi-Fi. We would have done all that setup before we left the job. Now, if you ever want to turn your inverter off for maintenance, it's important that you turn it off in the correct order. So check out this video when it comes to that. I'm Mark. If this has helped you out, give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time.